Hey guys, Spray and Pray here, and welcome to episode 49 of my Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 as France. And of course, as always, we're going to zoom out and start this episode uh, so we can see what we got. Last episode, we finished our war with India, and we made them free Mandari here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make them vassalize, but I don't think we can because they're not our religious group. So we're going to have to declare a war on them to force their vassalization, which shouldn't be that hard. So let's, uh, let's start that right now. We're going to be fabricating claims on them it's fine um yeah so that's gonna be how we're gonna have to do that uh but we did also get this little area here uh not too much to talk about these areas over here got a little bit better base tax but we do have a claim basically on the entire indian peninsula now uh we can easily get that we're gonna try i'm not gonna waste any military powers suppressing here because of course we're just gonna have our army sitting here and i think that's gonna be just good to have that army there just for now right now uh we might want to take away the I don't know. We got our cogs here, so hopefully we won't need them because we're fighting mostly land combat now against the war with Hungary. So yeah, let's uh, let's continue on this. We're, we're trying to vassalize the Palinate. Last episode we vassalized Holstein against their will very much, so that was nice. Oh god, I hate it when, our, when you send uh, diplomats out here. It takes them like all year to come back. It's horrible. Anyways, let's go... Three speed, yay! Uh, war, 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 war. So we're sending our vassal army here in to help. We're going to try to go take over Pest, which is the capital. It's going to give us a lot of war score. Uh, a revolt. Ooh, god. Oh good, we put them down pretty quickly. Good thing I left my guys there. And we're probably going to unite our fleet up here just to make sure they're safe together. I don't think there's really anything to be afraid of. I'm just, you know, a little cautious. Send these troops in just to hopefully they won't don't get shut down randomly. Ah, good. We got a, we took out Saxony there. Nice. They're a little tiny force, or the force that was in Saxony from Wurzburg. We're at minus twenty eight percent here. Hopefully we can. Uh, I would assault it soon, but um. Oh my God, are you serious? He's loyal to Poland. Damn it, we let one in. Oh God, gosh. Why didn't I pay attention? I never. I'm th I always look at the wrong times. Oh well. Hopefully he'll die soon. Can we kill you? Die. Die. I guess it won't let us. <laughs> I tried though. I tried to kill him. Alright. Come on. Come on, siege. Siege. Break down the wall. Ooh, there's three? There's three breaches? Um. What else? I forgot. There's something else you want to look for. Uh, let's try to assault. We should be able to take it because there's only 3,000 men here at the Palinate Castle. It looks like we're winning, but of course, you know, this always is kind of random and can turn around very quickly. Alright, nice. We finished the siege pretty early. Now let's, uh, let's sue them. Uh, we gotta wait a couple days to get our peace offer back. So we already got our guy fabricating claims. This guy's improving relations here in Croatia, which is pretty important. And then we'll, who, who's this guy? Integrating Namor. So we really just have to wait 37 days to peace out the, um, the Palinate. So let's just keep their army down, hopefully, and... We're taking 5% attrition, so we should probably spread out the Palatinate. Palinate. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Palatinate. Uh, how about you guys not walk on their army there when you're separated? And I'll merge you guys together to... Ah, good. We got our Cardinal now. Nice. Do we do we kill the guy? Oh, looks like we Osberg's trying to get a Cardinal now. Everybody wants a Cardinal. Alright, did our guy come back? We have 11 days. Oh god, this can take forever. Got an expiring possibility against Denmark. Yeah, we're not doing anything there. Ah, Croatia. Now that's gonna be that's so hilarious that we're gonna get the Croatian back first before our other guy. So let's sue you. You're gonna be my vassal, and you're gonna give me your money. No, just kidding. Uh, return cores. Nah, we're not gonna make you do that because we want you to have cores. Oh, we can make them release Baden. That's pretty cool. We're not gonna do that, of course. They have a treaty with Vaginagar. Why do they have a treaty with Vaginagar? Oh well, you can have whatever treaties you want, because you're my vassal. And can we make you transfer trade power? Nope. Whatever. I'll take what I can get. And right, now let's get our regular, our big army over here to go and fight. Think that's so funny that Austria is joining the war. Now, the, oh, the one thing I did notice, uh, it's going to be hard for us to get them. Palinate accepted our offer. Good. Alliance partner dismissed. We broke our alliance with Brun Brunswick. Are you serious? Brunswick? Where are you? Why did we break our alliance here? It's very weird. But, um, oh, one thing that's important to note. Um, we cannot get out of Hungary if we don't... Well, oh, I guess we could just ask for military access from... 
Poland, but we, we can't, we're going to have to make sure that our troops are all in the border before we declare or try to ask for peace or whatever, or ask for our union to be made. So uh, we need to be aware of that. And Oh, that's because we could get stranded. We don't want to get stranded. <laughs> all right, good. Okay, come on, let's go siege it up, siege it up, siege it up. And it should be really easy, you know, just like, oh, once we get our peace offer just perfect, we'll just force march everybody out of there. Disband all of our mercenaries. Oh gosh, we got an extra colonist. Should have been paying attention. How about you go up here? Kill them, kill the kill the natives there. Not even really worth it. Just better to have them not. Are you serious? Okay, we gotta wait like one day for it to be actually the battle over. Whatever. How are our how's our fleet? All right, well we can send them in here. Yeah, we should probably have taken some cogs to grab those guys, but whatever. Let's, uh, let's disband these demi cannons because we're not going to need them. They're too far away right now. What are these guys doing? Oh, we must have forgotten them. Huh. How many troops do we have here? 28,000? Alright, hurry up. Come on, we want to get that siege done. How many men can we fit in here? Not that many. What about you guys? How about you guys go there? Looks like it's going to be a little bit too much, but whatever. I think I'd rather take some a little tiny bit of attrition and get this over with more quickly. Yeah, we're up to 35% here, so uh, how many? How much inventory do we have? Can I try this? Can you want, you want to try this again? Can we show me how much we actually have? Okay, fine, whatever. They don't even have any breaches in their walls, so we're going to need way more. We have troops in a foreign country. Yes, I know. All right. So it's going to take us a little bit, a little tiny, tiny bit to get our things all enforced. All right, good. We finished the siege here, so let's move on to... Yeah, that's going to be too many people. 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 Why Why is there so much people? 7% attrition. Jesus. Uh, we want to get more tax because our taxes are strong suit here. If you look, we're making 106 from just tax. The Ile de France gives us 3.61 flat. Wow. Production is going to be pretty high. Good. Trade in Bordeaux. Agent was discovered. Oh. Okay, that's fine. We get some aggressive expansion down there, but like, who's who cares? Nobody cares that we get an aggressive expansion down there, do, do they? Ah, oh, good. The siege of pests is over. That was a pest. On um, to use to not be funny. Um, can we priest out Warsburg? Hey, Warsburg. You know you want to be. Ah, uh, we kind of want them to get back though. Friesland has entered the military coalition against us. Oh, scary, scary stuff, guys. Friesland is now in the coalition. What are we gonna do? Ah. The only thing that's kind of scary is the Ottomans and the Papal State. But Papal State not really anymore, because we're so badass now. Uh, trade dispute possibility. They're threatening our trade. Eh, whatever. I don't think Friesland is gonna be in a position to declare war on us. F military access from Ulm. Sure, you can have military access. I love you. Just kidding. Um. Croatia, can we do anything else to you? Ooh, you want to be my ally, yes. Wow, I can't believe they want to be my ally and we're at war. That's amazing. Um, what's our relation drop to? Okay, we're... Alright, well, at least we have them as an ally now, and we're going to get really close to... We can ask them... We can offer them military access, so they'll give us a little, another 10% or per, per whatever. We're going to get some more relation... Come on. Offer military access. Yes, you want it. You know you want military access. Croatia should be allowed to military access. Okay, good. Uh, come on. You know you want to be my vassal. Costas Belly against Mardwai. Ah, good. We've got our Costas Belly, so we might as well declare war on them. I hope they don't have any, uh... Do they have any allies? Are they in anything? Um... Oh, we have a truce with them. How long does that last? Let's see here. It's probably going to be easier to find it on this screen. All right, we have four more years. As soon as those truces are up, we're going to just go roll in there, take them out. Make them our vassal, then feed Vagina Guard to them. <sighs> Persia. My god, Russia, you could, you could pretty much find anything else you could possibly do besides help us in the war, huh? You're like declaring war on Persia, doing all this crap. Russia, you got. If it wasn't for your uh, your stupid vassal Austria being so nice and letting us walk through your territory, I don't know what I'd do with you. 
Right, let's move these guys down. We're going to want to keep the sieges rolling. Uh, we don't want Poland, as, as much as we can, we want to get the sieges done ourselves because if Poland does them, then they're just going to peace out of the war like instantly and it'll be really annoying. Got a pretty big force here. What, what's the... Um, ah, good. We finished Serbia off. That was pretty quick. Uh, I think it's just because we have so many people. Um, hmm. I think I'll lose the legitimacy over losing the stability because we kind of need the stability. And we're going to spend this these points just to sneak back up to three stability because three stability is really good we want we don't want as we want as few revolts as possible thank you very much um let's improve our relation here well we have to live with this okay can cast spell against Lorraine but of course they're in the coalition so we're after this guys we're gonna really try we're gonna really try to be nice and get our manpower back up and then we'll be mean again of course but right now I think we've got enough enough vassals through evil or well, you know, war means I think we have we've have 12 out of 6 relations so I think we're gonna be okay for that for a while we're gonna have trouble enforcing our peace demands actually but since we've already gotten most of what we want anyways it's fine all right, let's go to here, and uh, we're going to give them... We're going to send them a gift of uh, 25 relations with us. Is that Okay, 125. Wow, you guys are expensive. Come on, take my vassalage. You're so... How can we increase them? Uh, uh, let's get our uh, dip, diplomatic technology costs re dust reduced, I guess. So. All right. Diplomatic uh, has arrived. Oh, we got do we have two diplomats just sitting around now. Um, wow, how much do we get? Wow, we have so much. From, oh, that return territory. That's going to be so delicious. And it's only minus one a year. So basically, we can pretty much annex Netherlands no matter... As long as we don't wait 180 years, we can annex them whenever we want. Um, that's really cool. Magdeburg is already our vassal, so we might as well start integrating them soon if we can. We, have to be, we can't be at war anymore, but that's that's fine. We won't be at war very shortly, and Hungary will be our vassal. Griana, what the hell? Oh god, I gotta find some army to deal with that. Um, damn you, Griana! Why do you keep uh, revolting? I should have put you down. Oh uh, well, maybe we can wait. I'm not exactly sure. Our diplomat has arrived. Ooh, they're trying to siege back over here. Let's uh, let's not attack with just three thousand. Hey, is everybody coming? Okay, thirty-eight thousand troops are going in here, so hopefully that'll be enough to take them out. Yeah, there we go. Good. Muggles. Okay, we can either lose lose 40 ducats. That's ridiculous. Look at this. Would you rather lose the native size and... Or would you rather get... And lose settler chance. Or would you rather get all this stuff for just 40 ducats? Wow. Not even a question. I guess there's some poorer countries that would uh, beg to differ with me. But I think that's a no-brainer. Alright, come on. Ooh, Holstein! That's so hilarious. Holstein's over here leading the battle because we may force them to be our vassal. <laughs> Alright, where are these guys going? Probably to some Mogany. We'll just chase them down until they uh, until they pop. Which looks like it's going to be right there. Good, we got some extra war score from that. Uh, let's move in here and help them. And pe oh, it looks like they already won, so let's try to squish them here. No point in just leaving these armies to roam. And, uh, where are you going? Let's force march and hopefully we can catch them. Boom! Squished again. Wow, we're just getting free war score like every two seconds. Um, does Ferrara or Wurzburg want to peace out yet? Yes, they do. Ferrara, Wurzburg, okay, peace out. And then, uh, how about you, Ferrara? You want to peace out too? Yes. All right. Good. We're not gonna we're not gonna try to vassalize them or anything right now. It's just too much. All right. Good. We got two peace out. Now we want to we want to move our men back over here into Austria so we get the exiled trait or whatever so we can walk back through. We don't have to worry about trying to ask for military access, which is never gonna happen, especially since we got. Actually, let's let's grab. Eh, that's all vassals. Do you have any actual army over here? Yeah. Let's split our army in half here and. Uh, Grab them. Let's grab the uh, this one. Put them on force march and tell them to go back and fight these guys in Griana. Goody, 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 goody. We're so close. Can they? Will, will they actually take it now? Oh sweet, they'll actually take the PU. All right, so let's get all of our men back out. 
Let's get them all over here. We need to force march all of them. Uh, force march everybody. So that we can get there in time. You turn around, damn it. Alright, and uh, you need to be on force march as well. Alright, so that should be everybody on force march. Right? Alright, go. Retreat. Be gone. Oh, it looks like Croatia is giving us military access now, but we need to be in somewhere where it's going to give us the, the tag. I hope I hope Austria does so. Uh, I mean, but it's better than just trying to stay stick around in Hungary and see if it happens. Do we have the time? Oh, okay. Um, all right. Looks like we got all of our troops out, right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, good. All right. So Hungary, we want you to be our PU, and here we go. Send demand. Nice. Boom. All right, Hungary is now accepted our generous offer, and we gained prestige and get some aggressive expansion, but that's okay. Regrettably, we've lost the claim. Oh, well, duh. Now, can we please, please, please let us go back? Thank you, Jesus Christ. They gave us the exiled tag. All right, so we can get back. I did not want to get trapped there. That would have been really annoying, especially for trying to take out those things. Oh, no, Archaea got into the... Oh, Crimea. Oh, my gosh, so scary. So scary, Crimea. Where are you, Crimea? I don't even see you. Oh, there you are, Crimea. Really? You're going to be in the thing against us? Brunswick. Hesse. Sweden. Why Brunswick? We were such good friends. You're so mean to me. Oh, oh well. We've got Cleves here. Cleves? Jesus Christ, Cleves. Why do you hate us so? Send somebody to improve relations with you. We don't want to lose our, uh, our guy. And we'll send them a gift as well, just to keep them happy. And then we should have a free, even though we'll still have a free guy. So I think what we're going to do is have him uh, go into Austria and encourage rebels in the Jarlie. So we can get them to free. So we can give that back to Pomerania. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see. Austria, how long does this uh, core last till? Oh, 1872. So we, we'll go. 1872, that's past the end of the game. Yeah, the, the game ends in 1820. So we've got till, like past the end of the game to do to get that so we're good all right come here you guys merge up go fight here finally we're not at war god we were at war for so long and um, we got one two is holstein is holstein a guy no holstein's not a savoy is one i can't believe savoy is backing bohemia though they prefer bohemia because why because because we're not a member of the hre because our territorial claims um Okay, so we could make them vote for us easily. Wurzburg. Okay, so we have one, two, three. If only we had Lorraine. Is Cleves one? No. But we have a pretty good amount of electors as vassals, so. Very shortly, they could be all ours. Now, where's our army at? We still got any army anywhere? Where's. Yeah, we have so such few army, or, or, or such a small army now. I think what we're going to do is consolidate our brigades and just build all new army, honestly. Good. Cleves loves us. Let's uh, support rebels. Oh, there's no rebels to support? Are you serious? I guess they must have just put them down, you know? Oh, well. It's fine with me. Okay. So, Croatia, we really want them to get to be our vassal. Do they have a lot of aggressive expansion against us? Yes, they do, but we already sent them a gift and everything. Dang, we, we've done everything. I mean, nothing we can do to make them love us more. Even our relations improvement is not going to help that much. Yeah, we already got done with that. Uh, can we promote rebels? Maybe perhaps in Lorraine. There's no bar. Doesn't bar want to be its own country? No, I guess they lost their... Core. Um, Cleves, we already got Cleves as our vassal, so why, why, why am I even bothering? Hal Nuts almost uh, completely taken over by us. We almost in integrated them. Frankfurt. Uh, let's see, is there anybody that doesn't hate us over here? Let's see, is there diplomatic relations map mode? We are neutral. Okay, this is our it's against them, so. Okay, this is stupid. Um. Oh, there we go. This is what we want to see. Here we go. All right. So Poland, sort of okay about us. Lithuanian order hates us. Sweden and Norway are very displeased with us. Ottomans are very displeased. Everybody, pretty much in the everyone in the um, HRE is displeased with us, pretty much. Um, so like, uh, I think Chaos Angel suggested I write a list of who would want to be my vassal. I'm pretty sure no one wants to be my vassal right now. 
Alright, so, oh, we need to improve our relation here with Hungary because they're going to really hate us for a while here. That's okay, because we're going to get rid of that. And we don't want them to ununion, because that's going to be really annoying to fight back against. Now let's fight them one more time. These Cotillion Patriots, I think we'll finish them off. Maybe, maybe we'll have to chase them to Aragon again. It's going to be really annoying chasing these guys all over the world. How are our boys in... Oh, wow, we actually are taking some attrition now. Interesting. Now, we have so many cogs. 50 cogs, now. Oh, that's amazing. All right, hey, hey, uh, where do we, do we still have a truce? Yes, we do. That's very sad because we're gonna have to fight you soon. Oh, well, looks like our, st we're doing really well, guys. I'm really proud of our stats here. Um, got one guy free. We can do pretty much anything we want with him. What do we want to do? Um, oh good, we finished those guys off. All right, stop it with you and your force marching. Let's get ourselves back up to France, our major parts of France. Uh, we want to look at our cultures here because this is going to be influence exactly. Is this culture map mode? Seriously? What does it see? Oh, this is culture. We want to see accepted cultures. There we go. Now we go. Okay, so this is where we kind of want to build our mints because of, and, and then of course in Castile as well. Um, we want to build them in in the Burgundy and in, in the Norman, mostly cause of cosmopolitan. Oh, we got a trade dispute against them. Um, let's see, what's our trade power here? Can we embargo anybody? We should probably be embargoing people and setting as rival as rival. Who's Croatia rivaled with? Do we have rival of rival? Enemy of enemy? Uh, who are you? Milan, Ragusa, Bavaria. Uh, I think the safest one to set as a rival is probably going to be uh, Ragusa, but it looks like they're under siege actually by Ferrara. So who who do you hate again? Milan, Ragusa, and Baravia. Bar 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 God. So let's set Milan as a uh, as one of our guys here. And since we can, I guess we got rid of one of them. Oops. Alright, so we should have enemy of enemy now ticking. Good. That'll help us out here. What it's gonna be I think it goes up to twenty or fifteen, I forget. I missed the good old days when it was fifty, and it's like, hmm, and it was instant too. Let's get this diplo tech reduced. Any good disputed sessions? Oh nothing. We can build some good stuff here. Um some more treasuries. Let's do that. Excellent. It's become self sustaining. Uh we're gonna wanna build a lot of colonies, actually. How about we do that instead of spending any more money? And uh, we're going to drop our military maintenance here. We're going to drop it down to half. And now we can spend 120 ducats per day on whatever we want, which is more colonies. Now, to do this, we're going to have to kill all the natives. So, where's our military leaders? We have too many of them. So, let's boot one of them. Let's boot, uh, let's boot this guy here because we, we don't need him to explore or anything. He's just useless now that we're at peace. And then this guy here, we're going to want to take him... And we're going to want to split off, Let's split these guys in half, send some on here, drop them off here, just so that we're not taking any more attrition, because this is going to be really annoying and eating our manpower, which is something that we're trying to save. Alright, no leader, we're going to give you Francis here, and you're going to go and attack these more natives down here. And seven should be, at seven, 7,000 men should be pretty, pretty good for that. And then of course we're going to move on up the coast. So let's just grab our boats, put them there, just to make sure they know what to do. We're just going to get all the... We're trying to get as many colonies as we possibly can along this up here. Uh, I guess we're going to take this guy from Wurzburg as well. An insane amount... Damn you, Poland. I forgot... I keep, like, every time I look at that, I'm like... Poland. All right, let's send you there. Kill these natives. All right, good. And then uh, we're going to move there. And then we're also going to start a colony here. So where's our colonist? Right, we're going to recall you, send you here. It's going to take him a long time to get there, so you might as well send him. All right, now where's our last guy? Colonist here. Oh, there you are. All right, that's almost done, so you don't need to be there anymore, sir. Uh, do we have any natives here? What about any? We have natives. God damn, there's natives everywhere. All right, we want to do New Jersey or Den... Ooh, Delaware might be nice to do. It's pretty big, and we probably want to get all these guys here. Uh, what's our what's our mission again? Crap. <laughs> uh, we want to go to the Spice Islands, so let's uh, let's start exploring over there now that we've got our core here. Uh, where's our boat? I know we had a like random boat over here, didn't we? Didn't we have one random boat? Okay, well whatever. Um, we're gonna disband. Uh, we're gonna get all these guys over here, 
and just have one early frigate going and exploring. Can we get? Can we send you through here? All right, we're gonna try to send him that far. <laughs> I hope he does not die, and then we'll send him back to uh, here, and then he's gonna go into port. Come on, go to port. There we go. All right, so he can get repaired. Hopefully, he does not die. But if he does die, it's not the end of the world. It's good. We've done a good job actually keeping out pirates, pretty much. Nice. All right, kill these natives here. Are we still on our way? Yes. Okay, good. And then we're going to just basically march up the coast here and just murder all the natives on the coastline. And then we will also go to Africa and do the same thing so that uh, Netherlands can do a good job at colonizing that as well. Gain a core province, Cheyenne. Okay, cool. We gain another core province. Nice. Uh, do we have any other cores that we need to make that are cheap or something? Yeah, we do. Good. Goody, 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 goody. Oh, we have a free guy already? Okay, yeah, fine. We'll send him there. All right, these guys, we want them on the boats, and we want you over here, into Florida. Friceland has canceled the right to military access. Huh, whatever. If you want to be that way. So, how are we doing in the Holy Roman HREs? Uh, I doubt they're ever going to really form the, uh, the you know, the actual HRE nation. I don't think that's going to happen, just because we're probably going to be annexing them all very shortly. So, it's not really going to give them a good enough chance, is it? So, let's Croatia. Come here, Croatia. You know you want to be my friend. 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 Come on, improve my relations to 100 now. Oh, yeah. Aggressive expansion, go away. Damn you. If it wasn't for the stupid aggressive expansion, we would be fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Yes, we're back up to 100 with you. Um, we can invest in a cardinal now. Thank you for letting me know that game. I'm not an idiot. But we already have all the cardinals. Why? Kill, 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 kill. These Aztecs here, we're also probably going to want to demolish them very shortly. All right, let's just grab our boats here and have them, uh, let's just have them sit there. We'll just move our men along instead of having to actually, you know, take them back up on the boats. We'll just let them walk on the boats and then back onto the land. Hopefully they won't have to fight any natives as soon as they land, cause, but whatever, they're going to be fine. Oh, good. Uh, we lost a core province on Liguria. Aw, no more cost spell against Milan. Should probably help them actually. They have, but they have cautious bellies against us to take a, a coalition cautious belly, of course. Okay, we won this battle. Let's kill them here. All right, and then move up to. I guess we'll move up there and kill the natives there too. But we don't really need to since it's not a, a coastal province. But whatever. Hopefully, there's not too many more. Okay, there's even less natives here. Nice. All right, so let's go to. Oh, why did they break their alliance? Why do they want to offer an alliance? Oh, they've got a. They set us as rival? Seriously? Come on. Oh, Bohemia is getting in a fight against uh, Ferrara and. Oh, sorry, People State's getting wrecked. Poor People State. Wow, I can't believe Russia just randomly flip flopped on me and gave me the rival flag. Whatever, we're going to try to improve our relations here and try to express to them very nicely how much we're not rivals. Stay away from. Don't be rival. We're going to wreck your face if you want to rival us. Uh, spare no expense. Yeah, let's get some let's get some diplomatic or some inflation, whatever. And then we're going to want to fight those. I think we already went here, but we're going to we don't we want to fight those natives. Uh, yes. Can we force them to vassalize here, Shawnee? Uh, how much do they have? French base tax, 9 to 74. So um, maybe not, but... What about these guys? The Iroquois? Can we get... How much base tax do they got? 50? Mmm. So annoying. So annoying not to core that crap, too. Uh, good. Right, you guys murder these natives. Right, let's try to move into here. I think uh, Netherlands probably already discovered that, but we're just going to help them by discovering it for them if they have not, which I don't think they actually... I don't know how it works, but... Whatever, we're gonna kill stuff for them. 
And uh, we're gonna just colonize everything here. So uh, once these guys get there, it's like take them away immediately. And then we're gonna send them to colonize. And then I'm gonna send him here just because I'm gonna forget if I send him here. Oh, we got a free advisor slot. That's good. Uh, let's get our reinforcement guy. Which one's the manpower modifier? National manpower modifier. I don't know if it's gonna be better to have more or if it's gonna be better to reinforce more quickly. Well, the reinforced guy is not even here, so let's just get him. Cause uh, why not? And then we're gonna have three. It's not like we're wasting. It's not like we have any money problems right now. Uh, we've got all three, three, two, so it's pretty good. All right, we won this battle here. Let's kill them. All right, do we have any natives here? Yes, we do. So we'll just kill all the natives here as well, because we're probably just going to take all the colonies that we can. And then we'll let Netherlands do what they want. After we pretty much secure the coast, you know, not really much to do after that. I don't know. Maybe we'll move in. I'm not certain. Here, let's bump it up to five speed for a little bit, just to. Uh, Okay, we got our relations bumped up to uh, per as much as possible with Russia. I really wish... I mean, we still have royal ties with them, so... Uh, we can gain two base tax or get a bigger army. Um, I, I think I might rather have this... Uh, yeah, let's get this manpower, because we, really <laughs> we really need some more manpower right now. And uh, we, pr we have plenty of tax. But uh, we want to build some more buildings, so let's see here. Okay. Oh, French Ecomite, we lost it. Okay, let's uh, let's start fabricating that again then, because we we want Franche Comite, and we'll probably get, just take them both. I think that's what we'll do in our next war: is fight against Russia and just take these provinces here because I like them. I want them. Hopefully, Poland doesn't just get a stick up their butt and try to rival us randomly again. That'll be really annoying. At least they don't have an alliance with Russia. That'd be even more so annoying. Oh good, we got our enemy of enemy maxed up here. We got a new cardinal that belongs to us. And we're gonna take this one from Netherlands. Even though they're our vassal, we're just still gonna screw them after their cardinals because they will all belong to us. Insult scum. Ah, whatever. Let's get some counting. Oh, we already. Let's get some. Why can't we build any more? Um. Why can't we build any more mints? Oh, there we go. Mint. All right. There we go. It's nice. All right, now then more ca more treasuries. All right, come on. Got to spend this money. All right, I think this is going to be a lot, but uh, can build some more. We need to build counting houses down there still, but that's okay. We're gonna get so much tax from this. It's gonna be insane. We're gonna have so much money. We're just gonna be able to like buy buy our way out of any war just by having a million zillion mercenaries and do we in fact still have those mercenaries damn it i'm pretty sure we do yeah let's let's get rid of our mercenaries they're just kind of i think they're in the way of us being able to reinforce yeah they're just going to give us um attrition so let's move an, an army back here uh Good. I think we're doing really well, guys, because we're not we, we don't have random uh, revolts every five seconds anymore, which is kind of annoying. I really wish the uh, the papal state. Oh wow, Ferrara, you got a little bit bigger, huh? Nice. I don't think they would vassalize anymore now, right? Yeah, their base tax is minus forty five. All right. Well, we can continue going on here. Um. Oh God. Damn you, Netherlands, stealing a cardinal from me. Not for long, though. Cross his belly expiring against Switzerland, but that's okay. Uh, we can build some more treasuries. Oh, apparently we're... Why can't we build this treasury? Because oh, it doesn't have... We don't have counting house there yet? Okay. Let's just build some counting houses. Oh, wow, we need 101. Wow, that's a lot of money that we need to spend on these guys. Now, since we dropped all of our mercenaries, we should be making a lot more, too. Uh, and our colonies are costing us a lot as well. But that's fine, you know, we're still making quite a bit of money, even though we've got all these colonies. Which we're going to make even more, by the way. We're going to make two... Let's make two more. Or one one more, one more. We'll make this one here, and then we're going to send these guys to finish off these ones, co these colonies up here. And we're just going to try to keep about this many colonies, because I think that's going to be the biggest amount. Ragusa, oh good. Um, we no longer have a claim on Vlend, but... We already have the province. I don't even understand. 
Oh good, we've completely reinforced our army down here. Uh, we're taking some attrition actually on this island here. This looks like we're too small, or there's not enough room. So uh, oh, did he get back from exploring already? Nice. All right, so let's let's send him out again. We're gonna send him up to look at Japan and stuff like that, and then down here we'll send him, and then he'll come back to the port. Damn you! There we go. All right. And then these guys come on, get on the transport and get out of here. All right, we want you to go drop them off here in uh, where we already got troops. Indeed, we got fish now. Ragusa has insulted us. Of course. Conquest against... Oh, great. We got our cross belly against uh, Austria. That was really fast. Insult. Mainz has insulted us. Okay. Oh, wow. We've actually gotten our... I think we, our forces have been reinforced really a lot here. Um, we're up to 23,000 manpower. Nice. So we can actually start building again. Uh, let's see. What's our... Wow. You can build like almost 100,000 troops. So let's do that. Let's start building some troops here. We're going to want to build some... How much infantry do we have? 78, 42, 33. So uh, if we got a maximum of 270, we want to have about like 50, 25, 25 mix, I'm pretty sure. Or no, 50, 40, 10%. So let's build some infantry. We can definitely afford to build a lot of infantry here. Wow, they're cheap too. Look at that. 9.6, 8.6. I remember when they were more expensive. Or maybe, maybe I'm just thinking about the other units like cavalry and stuff. All right, so that was all of our money. There we go, we'll build those guys, that'll take a while. Uh, we got a free diplomat, so maybe we want to encourage some uh, some rebels here in uh, Magdeburg. Do they have any cores anywhere in Magdeburg? I thought they had one. They had like one core, that was like, eh. Austria, do you have any, uh, have any rebels? No rebels? No, uh, no Flemish patriots? No, oh, well. We're still trying to improve our relations here, but it's not helping at all. Oh well, maybe we shouldn't have broken that royal marriage, but... I mean, we're getting closer on Croatia, so... Hey, that's a good thing, isn't it? Ooh, and there's a bunch of... there's our infantry. Oh, how do you guys stay there? We're gonna try to build up our army in the, f the middle of France first. Oh, got a revolt here, but we crushed it immediately. Good thing we're not dumb and we left them there. Oh, we got some prestige for free. Uh, if only we could get some more legitimacy and then we'd max out everything pretty much. Damn. Got a lot of legitimacy gains. Got so much army here. Uh, let's go with some diplomatic tech and then we're going to get some more diplo power. Because I'm going to try to... I really want to get this next level of tech. Ooh, university. That might be nice too. Number of idea groups. Ooh, that's going to be even better. I think that the idea groups is the thing that's making me most excited. And then what do we get at the end of expansion? We get permanence against less advanced nations in Asia. And we get all this other stuff here. Shipbuilding time. Diplomatic relations. Oh god, this is what we need. Uh, colonist travel time. Yeah, we need that too. 420 diplo power? God, what else can we get? I know, I want to get that thing that lets you vassalize people better. I think it's probably going to be diplomatic relation, diplomatic ideas, but... I mean, technically, we should get an, an like an offensive military slot, but I think the best thing is going to be trying to get these things. Where's the? Uh, is there a vassalize? Where's the vassalize option? And then, no, it's not going to be navy. It is. It's probably going to be diplomatic. Let's look here. Diplomats time to clap with fabric claim. Diplomatic relations. War exhaustions reduced. Permanent causes belly versus other government types. That might be nice. Diplomatic reputation. Ooh, that's going to be really good. Unjustified demands, minus 20. Um, lowered impact on stability from diplomatic actions. So where's the dumb idea about vassalizing better? I know there's one there where you can like make them, it'll force, ooh, really? maybe it's religious. Join crusades, God's will, and crush the infidels, permanent possibility against neighboring heathens and heretics, missionaries, stability cost, missionary strength, tolerance to the true faith, yearly prestige, more tolerance of heretics, and better relations over time. Rebel support, production efficiency, advisor, merchants, ships, discipline, force limits. I, my god, I cannot, I cannot figure out where this thing is. Oh well. I thought there was something that would allow you to vassalize. Maybe it's this one here. Hmm. No, but we're gonna. Ooh, this is really good. Yeah, we're gonna try to focus on expansion ideas first. 
All right, good, good. We got a core province here and here. Nice. All right. So we got a free, two free diplomats. So let's see. Is there anybody, anybody worth, um, anybody worth like trying to make us make more happy? Maybe the Ottomans that might be worth it. Or Morocco and Tunisia. Will they actually take vassalage? No. What about Algiers? Distance between borders is a little bit too much, as well as they're not the same religious group. Too bad they're not, like, I wish there was the thing that would do that. Tunisia, Morocco. I mean, they're all taking royal marriages from me, but we can't because we have to be Muslim. Show superior, ooh, we can just show our superiority over them, but... I, I mean, it's not even worth fighting them because of their stupid uh, thing, but it, we can't vassalize them. So, and we can't get them into a PU because we're not the same thing. But it's nice, it's really nice that we have this uh, PU with Hungary. It's just, hopefully we can get this relation thing fixed because at the end of the year, if we, um, they will defect if they hate us too much, I'm pretty sure. Right? Where does it say that? Uh, Hungary, France having positive prestige. And see, for our continued union, we need this. But we need to wait 50 years anyway, so hopefully it will last that long. And then as well as with Cleves, we're trying to get them to integrate. But that's going to be when? 77? Hungary is going to be 85. So not really that far behind. I think we'll have time in between there to both have them going so we don't get the debuff for having them for having annexed another guy recently. Poland. Maybe we might want to least least low. Is Lithuania? Like, even... Lithania, do they have any cores anywhere? No, I think they only have it in their ca I think that used to be their capital or something here. What's this? Potolsk. Oh, we only have the one area. Poor Poland, they have all these claims from Russia. Oh. I hope I, I hope they would call me to a war against Russia. Not that would not be so bad. The national ideas of Poland make this province more expensive to Oh god. Does Poland get that on all their provinces? Holy crap, that's awesome. Hungary too? Bohemia too? The only one that doesn't really get it is like Austria and Ulm and... Wow. That's so dumb. Whatever. Uh, France should have that. <laughs> Make them more overpowered. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been a really pretty long episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, we won that war, and we got to, like basically we own like all this over here, almost with Croatia being our vassal soon, and uh, we own Holstein and wow, and Palinate too. Palinate's what I'm most excited about, I think, because they're an elector. So, or we are we already improved our relations with the Max, right? Yeah. Come on, Palinate. You know you want to be my royal marriage friend. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. You're the best. See you later. Spring pray out.